If you've seen the previous video in this topic, you should be able to answer questions A, B and C for yourself right away. So pause the video and have a go at those. Here are the answers. For part A, the ratio of squares to circles is simply 2 to 3. There are two squares and three circles, so the ratio of squares to circles is 2 to 3. Notice question B is almost the same as question A, except we have swapped the circles and squares around. So the ratio of circles to squares is simply going to be 3 to 2. With ratios, the order matters. So 3 to 2. For question C, we need the ratio of triangles to squares in its simplest form. Now, before we worry about the simplest form, let's just count how many triangles and squares we've got. We have got one, two, three, four triangles and two squares. So that's a ratio of four to two. That's triangles to squares. Now, in its simplest form, that is two to one. In question D, you might be seeing something you haven't seen before. This time we want a ratio of triangles to circles to squares. That's three quantities. So ratios don't just have to be between two quantities, like in the previous questions. In this case, we want triangles to circles to squares. And we've got four triangles, three circles and two squares. So that's a ratio of four to three to two. Now, in this case, we can't simplify this ratio. We don't have a common factor between four, three and two. So when we just had triangles and squares and had a ratio of four to two, like in the previous question, we could simplify. But now because we don't have a common factor between four, three and two, we have to leave it as it is. Finally, we've got the ratio of squares to triangles to circles. So it's going to involve these same numbers, but we've got to get them in the right order. Squares to triangles to circles. That's going to be two, because we've got two squares, to four, because we have four triangles, to three. So a ratio of two to four to three. 